sets up my swankies and swaggers. It's your boy, funny swag. But we're done with the intro. Now, I just gotta say welcome to another video. And it's gonna be a little different, to be honest. Kinda. I've done movie reviews, which I enjoyed a lot. I've done movie trailer reactions, which I've also enjoyed a lot. And I give to my friend a shit ton of gifts, which again, enjoyed recording a lot, enjoyed doing it, and just hurt my wallet a little, but <laughs> it was amazing nonetheless. Today's video, though, I'm gonna be reviewing and predicting this show star event. And honestly, before I get into any of that, I just wanna say a big thank you to Wade. I don't think he's ever gonna see this, but if by chance he does, I wanna say thank you. Thank you to the Wade concept, because just watching his videos, just watching everything he does, was a good motivation and what motivated me to do this video. Just seeing how he commentates on his live streams, his UFC, the UFC events, boxing events, anything in general, it's amazing. It's, it truly is amazing. And seeing how involved he's gotten in the YouTube boxing scene as well, amazing as well. And again, just want to say thank you. I really do. Don't think he'll ever come across me or this video, but in case, in case. For any of you guys who haven't, which I'm sure everybody has, go check him out. Go check him out. He he he's a good reviewer, honestly. Like good 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 YouTuber, good YouTuber, amazing. And one day we'll be an amazing commentator. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be honest. First thing I just gotta say about the event: unpredictable. Was not expecting anything of this, any of these people to be on this card. Cause I'll be honest, I don't know half of them, but. I don't want to talk about that yet. Not the card, not the card. First, we're going to talk about the commentators, which first, UK. We got Vidal and Joe Weller, which I was not expecting at all. On Joe Weller's part, I thought his comeback into YouTube boxing would be him being in the ring, but he's not. Which, again, either way, still can enjoy seeing it. Just, it's going to be amazing because I guess you could argue he was commentating on the UK side for Logan Powers KSI 2 but despise that despise that I, I I saw a post on his Instagram I saw him on a story putting any new boxing coaches hit me up I'm like yo this could be his comeback which <laughs> he still can this year the, the year is young the year is young we could still get him but for now we got him as a commentator which again love and can't wait to see him do it especially with Vidal which again they did amazing. They did an amazing job getting good commentators. I was not expecting that one to get. Would have been cool if we got True Gordy, but still amazing commentators we got in general. On to the U.S. side, we were gonna get Wade, but sadly due to the light, which praise for him. Hope he gets better. Won't be able to do it, but that doesn't mean he's not gonna do it ever. Come on now, guys. Come on. Whether it's Showstar 2, another YouTube boxing event, or legitimately on a UFC or boxing event, like on Showtime, I know he's gonna be a good commentator eventually. This is just a little roadblock. This is just a little roadblock. So for when it happens, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> but yeah, that's for the commentators. Now for the card. Was not expecting this at all either. <laughs> Tony, this whole thing has just been unpredictable. Unpredictable. I thought we were gonna get give. I thought we really were gonna get give as the main event. At least not on the card. At least on the card. Like, come on. How are you gonna have a UK versus US event without give? I understand. It was because of a couple of things that got in the way. But it doesn't mean we won't see him since this year. We will see him. Fight. A certain scammer. <laughs> No, 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 no. But all jokes to the side. All jokes to the side. I know we will get to see Gibbs soon, and come on now. Now we're talking about the event. Which Deji will be the main event. Which, honestly, so fucking proud of him. Realistically, does he deserve it for getting two losses? In my opinion, no. But that doesn't mean I'm not high for it. Of course not. I want to see him kick Alex Wilhabi's ass. Come on now. Everybody does. Everybody does. Everybody wants this redemption fight. He needs it. And I expect him to get the win. But we're not get I know I just said it, but we're gonna get into the rest of the predictions later. <laughs> I don't wanna say that, I just wanna say that. 
Sorry, no, sorry. But, but once we get into the predictions, we're gonna start from prelims, then the other cards, and then the main event. But yeah, whole card has just been unpredictable. But I'm enjoying that. It's honestly the commentators, the fighters, everything is getting me to want to buy the pay-per-view. It's amazing. And considering this being the first event, it looks pretty solid to be honest. Was not expecting half more than half of the people on this fight event. Mainly because I didn't know them, but it's all good. It's all good. I made sure to do my little bit of research, and to be honest, I have big respect for most of these people. I really do. I really do. If not all, which I'm pretty sure. Come on, all. <laughs> they're, they're getting in the ring. They're, they're, there's no disrespect to anybody. I just do want to say there's two fights that <laughs> I really couldn't care much about the Stromedy fight and the Vitaly fight. But hey, Maybe they'll shock me. Maybe they'll shock me. First, we gotta get into the prelims. First, we gotta start off with Sal Papi <laughs> versus Hollow Home. Which, big respect to Hollow Home. He hasn't, we haven't seen him since what? The Long Barra's case I mentioned? Yeah, the first one? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, we haven't seen him since then. And honestly, glad to see him back. As for Sal Papi, again was not expecting it at all because i didn't know him until that and to be honest once i looked into him i thought this was going to be the meme fight of this event which i'm gonna be honest now looking into everything i don't think there's going to be a meme fight i really don't i think they're all going to be good fights that if not a knockout we're going to go through the whole decision and yeah i don't think i don't think <laughs> i thought this was going to be the fight that was going to be like you know they were going to have the f dances in there which i'm gonna be honest Probably still will, because of Salt Poppy side. You know, you know. Besides the little Salt Poppy shuffle, I think I think I think that's all we're gonna get. To be honest, maybe one little dance room, but that's about it. As for the winner, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. For how long? How big respect to him. I saw his Instagram post, and to be honest, and on on the live with Wade as well. You mentioned he lost a lot of weight, so again. Big respect to him. Big respect to him. It just shows how committed he is to this fight and how much he wants to win. So, yeah. And for Saul Poppy, I'm going to be honest. At first, again, I thought he was going to be a little bit of a meme. But seeing his footage, honestly, I think that's how I'm training with Jarvis and with Kay. He has some pretty good power to him. He has some pretty good power to him. So, on that part, I think Saul Poppy is going to have more power. But how uh -huh, might be faster. But, hey. Who knows? <laughs> For my prediction for that one, though, give me a second. I'm gonna keep that in. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with Saul Poppy. I'm gonna be honest. Big respect to Hollow Hum, but I just think if it goes the distance, based off of the footage I've seen from Saul Poppy, just that, I think he'll, he'll take it. He has some clean shots. I think I saw. I think I saw one spar from correct. Maybe I'm thinking about something else. But also him on the on the on the bag was really good as well again seems like he really has some, some big power okay who wants to get to fight as for the second prelim strawberry versus hostage springs again another one i was expecting because i don't know who the heck is the other guy i really don't and i would just say he's winning though just because of the footage i saw it's just again this is the most i don't even know what to say about this one i really don't <laughs> but i just see footage from each one of the two and i think that one also will go the it will go the it will go the distance it will go the distance and it will be a decision one to be honest because i'm not expecting a big ko from there but again could it be i could be shocked everybody else could be Anything can happen, to be honest. Anything. But yeah, just because of the footage I saw, Austin just looked a little better, to be honest. But hey, who am I to fucking judge, man? Like, they, they, they could probably still beat my ass. <laughs> but on to the first main card fight Ashley Kane versus Andreas. Don't know how to say his last name, so I'm not gonna say, just uh, butcher it. Again, they didn't know either. But I looked into them as well. And honestly, I have big respect for both. 
big, big respect for Rashid Mosul because for what he's fighting for, to be honest. And I hope he gets his win. That's who I'm predicting the win as well because the motivation and the reason he's fighting for is like he lost a loved one in the past. And to be honest, again, big respect to him. Honestly, there's there's honestly the biggest motivation you can have during a fight. And he even said himself, the winnings he gets in this fight, he's gonna donate to charity. So even more big more of a respect. Honestly. I could see that one going either way, to be honest. On the from the footage I've seen, he looks amazing as well. On the other person, I'll be honest. <laughs> that different body types looks a little scary. Like Ashley King just looks huge, an entire unit. And Andreas. Haven't seen any footage, haven't seen nothing, and yeah. But it's all good. I'm predicting Ashley Kane to win that one though. 100 percent Could be KO though. I think it will. But another reason though, why I'm siding with Ashley though. I hope I'm not saying his name wrong. I hope I'm I really hope I'm not. Will be good though, because I don't think it's a rumor. But I saw it on the Showstar post. I saw it on one of their stories that he's seen as a potential fight for KSI. So I'm just thinking, <laughs> hey, yo, if KSI ever returns to YouTube boxing or just boxing down, seeing that fight would be sick, to be honest. Actually, the game looks huge, but hey, man, you gotta go defend it. Come on now. <laughs> no, but yeah, um, I'm predicting Ashley can win that fight. The fight after that is. DK Money versus 12 seconds later. Oh, we're back. DK Money versus Ryan Taylor. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That one, I'm also predicting another decision by DK Money. Just because he's already fought before against Nick Ireland and they don't look that bad, to be honest. And all I know from Ryan Taylor is that he's a BMX guy, a YouTuber as well, and seen a little bit of his footage and not bad not bad not really not bad just the fact that i think dk money takes that one i think that one that one goes to decision and he takes that one now after that one i believe it's the other fight that <laughs> i said i couldn't care less about couldn't care much about but hey come on we gotta see the whole band it is vitaly versus Hanabi. Kristen Hanabi. I'm gonna be honest. That one, shit. As much as much as I don't want, I don't really care much about him. Just because the last thing I saw about him was him pretending to piss in front of girls on Instagram. I again, that was the last thing I've seen of him. I know he was a big YouTuber back in the day, but when that's the last thing I saw, I'm like, huh. It's not looking very good. But hey, I'm over here. <laughs> like what I forget here. <laughs> no, 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 no. But again, um, I think Metali takes down like a third round KO. Gonna be just because he's bigger. But hey, I've seen a little bit of Kristen as well, and he, he doesn't look bad at all. He doesn't look bad at all. But just the fact that Metali looks better. But who knows? Maybe he could tire out first. Maybe he could tire out, and then Kristen gets a KO, or he just lands a better shot. Who knows? Who knows? But I'm gonna lean towards Metali. After that, it's Arms Quirlane versus Minicon. Again, I didn't know either of these two before that. But again, looked into them. Arms Quirlane did a MMA fight before, so that's already amazing. And Minicon, again, supporting him 100%. There, there's, there's no reason to not. Like, again, he's doing this for himself. He wants to get, like, he, he said he's losing weight. And also, <laughs> Big respect to him if he truly has the confidence. He says he wants to fight the UFC heavyweight champion after this. I'm like, ah. Ah, shit. Francis Naganu versus Minicon. That would be interesting. But, no, yeah. I think, all that aside, love is confidence. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with arms. I'm going to go with arms. And to be honest, though, I don't think he's going to take him out easily, though. I think Minicon is putting a lot of effort into this and might go through the whole rounds, but might get a KO in the fifth round. So yeah, after that one, 
that's when we get into the co-main event and a lot of people saying fight of the night to be honest which i'm not surprised i think it will be kenny versus temper i said from the beginning that i wouldn't switch my opinion at all so i'm not but since the very beginning since i thought of that fight they saw that they announced it beta squad versus phase i would go with face temper he has he has a athletic background he has a fighter background i just feel like he is he's taller i don't know if he has longer reach though because i've seen the reach of kenny and <laughs> he has a really good he has a really good jab and a really good reach i saw i saw from wade i saw the video of myself as well he, he looks much better than the first round the first ever fight which again is expected but that's the reason why i said temper was winning i haven't seen much of temper but to be honest maybe that's maybe that's gonna surprise us maybe that's the method he's using maybe he's not putting anything out to surprise us on that day maybe sounds like bullshit <laughs> but you never really know but i'm going with temper tko in the fourth or the fifth the fifth but i wouldn't be surprised if kenny wins to be honest he's training with his brother daily which is amazing daily trains professional fighters so that just goes to show that kenny is on the level of not on the level but could potentially get on the level of a professional fighter and i think i see i think i saw it before too actually i think kenny wants to be a professional fighter he wants to go for that bro so if he beats temper and he goes pro that's already an accomplishment on its own and honestly i like to see him go pro <laughs> that would be amazing that would be amazing whether it's fighting people like jake paul and other stuff like that or fully going pro and making becoming a champion it's good it's good so yeah i'm going to go with temper but i'm not surprised if kenny wins that one most likely will be the fight of the night now on to the main event i know i basically already spoiled <laughs> my answer be towards the beginning of the video but I went with Edgy 100%, but it's not going to be an easy fight. We've already seen pictures of him, we've already seen him in videos. He 100% lost the weight. He knows he should have come on like. And to be honest, I think he's taking this fight. I think he's winning around the fourth round. Just because I don't think he's, he has to have learned by now. He has to have learned by now that he cannot go for the flashy first round KO. He tried it against Vinny, didn't work. He just, again, if it happens twice, you can bust the floor right now. New trainers, training also with Kenny, with Kenny's brother. It just wouldn't make sense for him to go for the KO instantly again, and then not show as much. Like again, into failure. But again, I don't think that's gonna happen. I think he's gonna be patient. I think he's just gonna stay low for a while maybe go for a couple jabs and i think he's gonna let alex wasabi win the first two rounds i think he's gonna let him you know win then once he gets to the third and the fourth i think that's when he throws the body shots i think that's when he goes for the bigger hits and that's gonna affect alex wasabi because when we saw him against nick ireland in the preparations for the for social post event he got hit to the body and couldn't take it honestly he's been training so again anything can really happen maybe 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 he can take body shots now maybe he can be hit in the face again but saying those things have not proven i think that he takes the win but that is not gonna underestimate him at all never will so that just what i'm say i think <laughs> no yeah yeah that he just can't underestimate his opponent no more. i think he's taking the dub on the fourth round ko but yeah those have been my predictions and my review <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed and you let me you guys you guys let me know who you think is gonna win doesn't matter if you guys if it's just one person you guys are fighting or just tuning in to watch i want to know who you guys think are gonna win if you disagree with me 100 percent. put it in the comments put it in the comments <laughs> but i want to see what other people think maybe they agree with me maybe not, but yeah don't forget hit the like button subscribe
and tune into my next video <laughs> but yeah that's funky swag man. peace what is up guys also just wanted to make a quick thing quick little act, quick little end of the video i don't really want to think temper's gonna win this fight It'd just be a little sad if he didn't to be honest because look put it this way phase member previous phase members that have done youtube boxing face sensei got the ko face jarvis former phase member also got the ko he's got to be part of the ko's <laughs> face squad not enough objects aside though um that's just another thing that's gonna be in his mind to be honest it's gonna be there's a lot of pressure on his mind right now there's, that's that's obviously gonna be a part of it so i think thinking that it's just a lot of more motivation to him shit my bad guys my bad <laughs> but yeah um who fucking knows same with deji man um a lot of things on the line for him if he loses just can't box anymore he said it himself but again who knows I'm a terrible predictor, man. You can ask anybody. <laughs> I've tried predicting previous fights, and they did not go well. Completely went out of direction. But hey, I usually do one prediction. On this, there's multiple car there's multiple fights on the line. Multiple fights. So who knows? Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. You guys let me know what you think. Peace.